I only came here, not because you invited me. I only came to prove to you that I am a man of honor and that those things you are carrying there as grievances do not signify wisdom, but an empty head. Simply because you are making chairman of this community, you are smiling. It totally shows stupidity. I want you to be very, very careful. Never you send any of those stupid boys to invite me to this your wretched house again. Or I will send you to where you belong. Is that understood? You better. I know you are aware of the saying that if one man cooks for the entire community, the community will finish it in five minutes. But when the community cooks for one man, that man can't finish it until he is dead. But you. I sent for you and I'm glad you're here. Please stop intimidating the youth. Stop making them feel like strangers on their ancestral land. So you've grown wings. Now you can trade proverbs with me, is it not? I so pity you. Do you know why they call me Aguna Chamber? I'm sure you don't. I am in custody of the certificate of existence of everybody in this community, including you and those your stupid youths. And I have the powers to withdraw that certificate at any point in time. So you better warn your youths. If anyone crosses my path, I will withdraw that certificate and I will send that person to oblivion. Is that understood? You bet. As the chairman of this community, I want to strongly urge you. Let it be on record that I urge you to desist from your intimidation and harassment of the youth of this community. Please. I have done what I asked you to come for. My message has been passed. I can see that you are getting carried away because we made you the chairman of the community. I made you and I cannot make you. When you talk of the community, Ibeto is synonymous with the community. So there's no stupid person that will send you to come and give me orders. And I'm warning you for the last time. If you continue like this, I will take that position from you. And I will deal with all of you. Don't force me to withdraw your certificate of existence. You don't know that I am the liar in human body. If you do, you will not be doing this nonsense, this rubbish that you're doing. This is the last time I will warn you. Let's go. So you came here to threaten me? You came here to threaten me with these two rats? Well, I've delivered what the community asked me to deliver. If you like, don't think about it. <laughs> Look at you! You're shouting, hi, hi, hi! I told you! Don't ever pass through this road, except you collect a transit visa from me. If you pass through here again, then you will know that I will kill you. you Idiot! Chief Beto. Aye, that man sent boys to beat me up just because I passed through the road. They instructed people not to pass. 
<sighs> Brother Wait. You mean Chifi Beto did this to you with his boys? Yes. God of orphans, where are you? Please, come to our aid and fight for us, please. Kenna, Kenna, we go happy God of orphans. Boil water for me to, to bait. Oh? Hey, brother. Yeah, we go fast, fast. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm not going to go back. Hey, ah, oh, 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 it shall never be well. Yes, amen. God of orphans will make him suffer. Amen. He thinks he has money. He can suppress everyone in this place. Mm. You see that is money. We vanish one day. Hey. I promise you that. Hey. Oh, this man, they pound me like fufu. Hey. Hey, they finished me. Hey. Oh, brother, this is too mm. much. Mm. See, don't worry. I need to go and report this matter to uh, Mazen Bachu. I report this case. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't, don't. Just let him be, okay? Just let him be. No, Come brother. That. No, brother. He needs to know, please. Mm. He needs to know. I need to report this matter in case of tomorrow. Hey, Jima, 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 Hey, I am helping you. You just calm down. Let me do this. You see that boy, Rich? He thought I was joking until I gave him the biggest beating of his life today. You need to be there. You see, they they always like to challenge their elders. To Bechi, Ifani, and Chinedu, the most stubborn boys we have in this village. But they must learn their lesson. We will teach them a lesson they will not forget in a hurry. To Bechi, you are lucky. You are lucky that I changed my mind. If not, I would have killed that boy. So that he can join his poor late father in his grave. Imagine after all the warnings and instruction that no one should pass through that road. That the road is made for me, my family, and yours. He dares. He's lucky that he was not killed. <laughs> you see that beating? It's his last warning. I am the custodian of the certificate of existence of everybody in this community. But me, the exception. Of course, we are together. <laughs> <laughs> and for him or any other person to pass through that road, they have to approach me and obtain a transit visa. If not, Madam. No, first of all, I will make them eat grass like goats. Then after which. <laughs> Which means more money. More money. More money. More money. <laughs> more money. <laughs> but Tobeshi, why didn't you inform us that yesterday that this thing happened? So that we attack those men with cutlass. Go ahead, Jajana. This is serious. Very, very serious. I still do not understand. How can he send his boys to beat you up like a child? Eh? My guys, please calm down first, okay? Just calm down. Tobishi, don't tell us to calm down. Don't tell us to calm down. I feel like strangling those men. I feel like strangling them to death. Can you imagine? 
that no one should follow that road except their family. What kind of intimidation is that one? You cannot do anything to those men. They are, I mean, they are richer and bigger than you. It has happened, it has happened. There's nothing we can do. Okay? But these men, they have money. And with their money, they can suppress anyone in this community. Yes, we can't do anything. We can't even retaliate. They are bigger than us. To be, to be, to be, I am not happy. To be honest with you, I am not happy. See, I wish I can fight them. I can jam the jaja. 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 Okay. How they collect land from the widow and suppress the orphans just because they feel no one can do anything to them. It's a bad but very soon we are going to tell them that who have somebody is better than who have money. Rubbish. Who do you Looking have? At Alolan. Who do you have? We have God now and we have Chinedu. Mm -hmm. I know seen his mother. Chinedu. I always talk with Jajaja and I have not seen him jar anybody. Tobe. Very you soon. You keep jarring with your spirit and your mind and your soul. Very soon, Tobe. Very soon in this village, you witness it. No, you watch it. If I'm you, eh? Eh? All this jaja jaja is a waste of time. Once somebody gets me angry, if I'm you, how can that do? All of them will enter my doors. Think I will try that. Me? I don't believe so. Old men are serious about telling people not to pass through that way. Eh? You know those wicked men? They are serious about it. Huh. And I must make sure I report those matter to the chairman of this community. <laughs> Mamba, Papa. Don't do that one. Because you doing that is bringing more trouble upon trouble to us. Oh, Mama, eh? it will not. I think the chairman needs to know about this. Mm -hmm. Because they cannot beat my brother just like that and go scot free. You are very stubborn. If you will listen to me, just allow this sleepy dog life. Do you know why you are saying this? Because you did not witness what those men did to my brother. Why don't you witness it? You will advise me to report to the local government chairman, not even the village chairman. I was not me. Hey, 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 don't say that. Your brother is calling my brother too. What I am saying is, let's just take things slowly. Let's take it easy. Oma, Oma. I know you are angry. Just calm down. Oma, 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 Oma forget this, Biko. Forget it. Calm down. I'm no. coming down now. So what are come you saying? Down. I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going down. Don't leave it. I will, I will go and report them. I need a queen echo. They are not going to get you one minute. Come, let's go. What are you telling me now? Onya Allah. Go, John. Onya Allah. Onya Allah. Okay, Maya. Maza. Are you trying to tell me that Chief Beto actually sent boys to beat to be jail? Yes, Mazi. Mazi Mbachu. It was the same road issue that is causing this problem. In Afukwa. But that's wrong. That road, and the entire village for that matter, belongs to everybody. Not just a few. They can't make such decisions on their own. They can't. Hey, Mazi, I can't give you my Mazi, please, something needs to be done. Now. These men are making the youths feel like strangers in their father's land. We can't even walk freely again. I na gaya na gano jo. You're right. You're right. Something needs to be done. And and I think I'm going to do something about it. Darling. To do something about it. Thank you, thank you so much. Eh? Mazi, please try your best. Eh? 
try and do something about it. That is why I decided to pay you a visit and lay this complaint. Makaya Akarigon is too much for us. Please. See, this portends a lot of evil for us. But what I will do is I will go to his house. I'll go to Chief Ibeto's house. I'll try and have a talk with him. I'll go and talk with him. Thank you so much. Hey, if you see what this, this man did to my brother, eh? Hey! Mbanjo. So you have the guts to walk into my house and spew trash from that thing you call a mouth, right? I'm not here on my own volition. So calm down. I'm not spoiling for a fight. I'm here as the chairman of the community. And I was sent to tell you to open the Egbehelu Road. In case you have forgotten, that is the only road the youths can access the river by to dredge sand. And the sale of that sand is their only source of income. And who are you to tell us what to do? Embat. So, because you are so-called chairman, you think you can order us around, okay? Eh? I'm talking about chairmanship. You are chairman of who? I don't know. Me or Romanus? God forbid. That can be me. <laughs> Look, money rules if you don't know. You cannot be my chairman. I should be the one ruling. In case you forget, I am the custodian of the certificate of existence of everybody in the community. And for anybody to pass through that road, he or she must come here to collect a transit visa from me. So you come here to say nonsense about allowing people to pass and all that. You are just a fool. Now get out. And go where? I told you the community sends me. What do I go back and tell them? Ibetu, Romanus, this matter has not been resolved. I'm going nowhere. Oh, you can't go. So you value the people who sent you more than your own self. Now, do you want to live out of your own volition or you want me to send my boys to throw you out of my house this minute? Choose one. You better. Romanus, it is obvious both of you have no respect for the office of the chairman. Mbacho, I will advise you make use of the door for your own good. Because if you don't leave, by the time you see what you're looking for, maybe the man in the chair will be removed and chair <laughs> left for you. Which chair? Both the man and the chair will be removed. Idiot. Get out! Idiot! Hey, are you telling me the truth that uh, Ibeto sent his boys to throw you out of his house? My brother, I've never been this embarrassed in my life. Not only did he do that, but do you imagine that rat Romanus supported him to do that? Mbachu, but he made a mistake. Yes! You made a mistake uh, 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 by going to meet him. You can go and see the wife. The wife, you say? The wife? Why are you talking as if you are not in this community? <gasps> eh? Don't you know that Iberto's wife is as rotten as he is? Don't you know that both of them are birds of a feather and that is why they flock together? They are peas in a pot. They are both as evil as each other. What am I going to meet that evil woman for? So she can heap more coals on my head? No, 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 no. Uh, well, do you see Ibeto and Romanus? They think money is everything. They think with that their money, they can intimidate 
or humiliate everybody in this village. It's not possible. Okay, we'll see. Can you imagine? You better told me to go and rule MNK people. Hmm. That I cannot rule him. That I should rule MNK people. That is above my ruling. Just because he feels I don't have as much money as he does. Isn't it? Okwaya? Well, my brother. You see those men? Very soon, they will all die. Because all the villagers are laying curse on them. Those wicked people. Idiots! Kahabo. Come to think of it. I think you're right. One day, those men will need the help of many K people. And that day will be here to see that day. Don't worry. Karma always comes around. I got a fool. Get the sword here. The way our husbands are treating the villagers, it is not good at all. Eh? Seriously, it is not fair. We need to talk to them, especially your husband. My husband? Yes. Or you mean our husbands? Besides, the way our husbands are treating them is okay because they don't need soft hands at all. And Hey, those widows and orphans are the people we're supposed to help. Eh? No, no, you're treating them like a puppet. What is wrong with you, Anne? Ah! That is your own, no. As for me, they don't belong to my class at all. So, they don't deserve any respect. See, let me tell you, let me advise you. If you need these people to respect you, you have to carry yourself where you belong. Otherwise, they will not, they will not even take you as another. <laughs> respect you said you can't earn respect by punishing the people you you supposed to defend and uh -uh. that is your own mindset as for me those poverty stinking people are not in my class they are refrains in fact i call them barbarians so just take your drink That's, they are not your problem just take your drink hey you will never change what kind of a woman are you drink Great Izuma, father of our own unfortunate. Great Izuma, father of all words and fortune. Great Izuma, father of all words and fortune. Ibeto and Romanus, remember the covenant and promises you made to the great Izuma. And if they you break it, you both will die. Grandmaster, we will continue to uphold the covenant. Nothing will make us go against it. The great Izuma does not have mercy when he provokes. Be very careful whatever you do with the villagers. Grandmaster, all the villagers respect our orders and their opinion, except those three stubborn boys who have refused to listen to us. Continue to torture them, torture those boys. Because your suffering and pain will bring you more wealth and happiness. And also to the village people. And Tony, the Grandmaster, the great Izuma is not happy with you. You have failed to bring the sacrificial lamp. And you know, the great Izuma 
will not spare you when the bell rings. I'm sorry, Grandmaster. My wife is stubborn. She has refused to take the gift from Great Izuma. She wants to open it and know what it is all about. But as soon as possible, Grandmaster, I will soon convince her. The Great Izuma, father of all wealth and fortune. Daddy, those girls are human beings, not animals. Will you keep quiet? Which human beings are you talking about? They are riffraff. They are not in your class. Their social status is diametrically opposite to yours. So you, you, you don't need to associate with them. Nancy, your father is right. Ignore those girls. Show them that you are daughter of a rich man. So because their parents are poor, therefore I should not treat them well. I should not treat them like my sisters. Shut up, Nancy. Keep quiet. Your father and your uncle are right. Those people smell of poverty. They will infect you with poverty. And besides, they are not your class. Mommy, that is totally unacceptable. No, I cannot disconnect myself from my people. Never. I love them. They are ready to join them. The man is not a man with property. Let's go. What have you done with it? Okay. We shall see. So she be to actually leave because it's on you. Insulted you and Oma. Because, because, because we are nothing. Brother, the insults these men are giving to us in this village is too much. <sighs> and the elders need to do something about this. Kai, this insult is becoming too much. These men are well to do. We can't challenge them. That is just it. We can't. Hey. Oh, I wish there is something we can do about this. We can't continue facing this humiliation all the time. My dear, we can't do anything. We are orphans. We can't challenge these men. The worst part of it is that the, 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 the youths obey to their opinion. None of them is even ready to challenge them. <laughs> Brother, I see. If Chiefy better insult us like this again, I swear I will insult him back without minding his age. Don't I will. Don't you ever try that? Don't, don't, don't try it at all, because you, you, you will cause more harm. Okay? Let us leave it to God Almighty to fight our battle. <laughs> don't worry. Oh. God will vindicate us someday. <laughs> so don't bother yourself. Gena, I am tired. Gena, I am tired of all these things. I'm tired. I'm just tired of everything. Tired of poverty. Since our parents died, we're just feeling from hand to mouth, suffering. All this rubbish. I'm just tired. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay, brother. I understand how you feel. But 
thinking will not solve this thing. Chief Ibeto and Romanos are uh, another problem that we have. Instead of them to help their people and make them grow, they are busy suffering us. Like we are slaves. What, what, what is this? What is happening? <sighs> Have you tried to raise this issue to the youth chairman? It might pay him a visit and all this intimidation will stop. That one? He's even scared of them. Yes. That one not get leave out. Yay. He's so scared of them. I think we all have to double our hustle and make money and become somebody in life. That way, People will respect you. You can fight these people. They are stronger than you. You can fight them. You can fight them. Are you still talking? Chief Roman, deal with him. Hey, 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 you are still talking. I will kill your son, Chief Shut Romanu. Up. I will kill your son. Hey! I will kill your you son. You dare challenge me. Murder your son. You dare challenge me. Murder your son. Nonsense. Hey! 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 Nonsense. Hey! hey. Shut up! Hey! I will kill you. Hey! I will kill you. Hey! Help me out! 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 Digress! 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 I will drop off your head! I will blow up your head! It's true that Chief Romanu's voice beat you up to, to like this. So I see what they did to me. My own plot of land. For my own inheritance. Hey! Wicked man. God in heaven will punish them. Amen! These men are very, very wicked and heartless. For doing this. Honestly, this is becoming so unbearable. We continue to live like slaves in our own father's land. Chalugori, where's your cook? Where's your cook? Where's your cook? Chalugori, can I? Can I? Can I see? Aku jaja jaja. Oh, you're my jaja jaja. No way. Oh, 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 oh my God, my guy, my jaja jaja. Can I see jaja jaja? Lily, can I We are finished. In fact, the youth leader yeah. must hear this, and the youth yeah. must intervene on this. Yes. yes. Hey, the old dog. This intimidation in this land is too much. We can't allow this man to continue treating us this way. Chegori. So because he wants to take away the only land your father left for you. That's why he sent boys to beat you up this way. My only inheritance, only. my only right, the only piece of land my father left for me, that is why they want to take away from me by force. Or the man. No one but you or the man. My Adeba, I think the youth leader needs to address this. This thing, this nonsense might stop. Fine. Don't even go there. Don't even mention Chuka at all because even the Chuka you are talking about is scared of them. Nobody can challenge those men. You know, Koku Youth Leader. We still need to see the youth leader today. We don't have to just start concluding on our own, okay? We need to know the next action to take. But the truth of the matter is, I tried though. No, I tried. 
If not that there are many, eh? If not that there are many, I'm sure they wouldn't have overpowered me. Open up for one or two people. Oh God. I didn't read the Japan Jatolia for Jatolia. You can't even beat one person. Don't try me, I'll beat you up here. Um, Tobe Chukun, Nedu. I mean, you guys do not expect me to go and see those chiefs alone. Eh? They might end up harming me. No, you have to go. You're the youth leader. So yeah. you have to go and talk on behalf of your people. Ah, Tobe, why, why, why are you sounding like you don't you don't know this man in question? Eh? Have you forgotten when they, 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 they gave an order that nobody should pass through Igbelu Road or use the river? And, and nobody went there that day. Are you asking me to go there alone? Um, Chuka, just like Tobe said, you have to go. The truth of the matter is that you have to do something. We cannot continue living in our father's land like strangers. The worst part of it is that we can't even talk or move around freely again. You need to do something. Not only that they took our properties with no mercy, they actually took our land and pushed us away. That is wickedness. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Tobe, Nedu, I know exactly what to do. I know what to uh, do. What is that? I will go there with some youths of this kingdom. Uh -huh. I will go there with SS violence. Uh -huh. eh? no, at least they will know we are serious and we are not happy at all. No, you're uh -huh. talking. I will go there. know that we have strong men, uh -huh. strong youth in uh -huh. the village. I will go there. We will, we will cause violence. See, Chuka, I'm ready. Whenever you call me for us to go, Chuka, I'm ready. Because uh -huh. this nonsense is too much. You go with me. You guys will go with me. Of course. No, I will no, cause no, violence. No, no, not no. you guys. You go. Oh, you guys. I will go. No, I will yeah, go with you. Go. No problem. I will go. So I know guys. what to do. I'm ready. No, you, I, will I know go. what to do. Make him out, yeah. I know what to do. I'm, I'm, I will cause violence. I'm proving and I will feel it. Chief, my name is Chuka, yes. and I am the youth leader of this kingdom. Yes, yes. and with me here are some of the representatives of the youth of this kingdom. Yes, yes. Chief, we have come to tell you to allow us to enjoy our father's land in peace. Yes. yes, Chief, we need our freedom. This is our father's land. We need to enjoy our Chief, father's land. Our freedom. freedom. We are freedom. 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 It's all it. Exactly. Our freedom. So, you are not scared. So you are not afraid. You have the audacity, the temerity to walk into my compound to challenge me. Chief, nobody is here to challenge you. Just the other day, Chief Romanus ordered his boys to beat you unmercifully. Just imagine, that. Chief, we want you to allow us to enjoy our father's land in peace. Ah, and that is all. That is all. So, you are here with these boys to fight me. <laughs> Let me warn you. The next time you try this, you will all join your ancestors. Oh, I Shut up. So, you're still talking. Do you know why they call me the lion? No, do you know why they call me the lion? They have the audacity to walk into my compound to threaten me. Next time if they come here again, look, shoot them, don't even call me. Just kill them. Yes, boss. Be better, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Hey. 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 Hey.
you need to see how those boys were raining bullets at us. I swear to God, it was just by God's grace that we managed to escape. Eh? Even when we were there with the youths, they insisted and released bullet. See, this was the reason I said I wasn't going there alone. Because if I had gone there alone, I swear, those men would have killed me and buried me like, like, like I'm a nobody. They would have killed me. But you can wait to, wait to Tobe. Were you not here the day I asked Chuka whenever he's ready to go, you should let me know. No, we never. At the end of the day, he didn't call me. But I didn't see you. Did you call my number? I didn't see you. Okay. Did you call my number? I did not call you. Didn't, boy, enough, you didn't call my number. So which one is you, you didn't see me? You would have called me on the phone. See, come to even think of it. How come all these small, small boys are terrorizing our village? Because we have a wicked and rich old man in this community. Huh? Uh, um, Tobe, Nedu, you guys should not worry about it. I know exactly what to do. In fact, I believe the elders know what to do. In fact, come to think of it, I will go and inform the chairman. I think he knows what to do. He just said that you know what to do. And you're believing that chairman knows what to do. Uh -huh. who, who, who knows what to do? Because we they will do something. Huh? It's a collective effort. Somebody will do something. So you, you, the youth leader or the chairman. So who, who, who is the person that is going to do what something? What I know is that somebody will do something. I will inform him or I inform them. But somebody will do something. That's all I know. Um, Toby, I have to go. Medu, I'll see you later. Hmm? In the show, not you no, because I don't understand. He's the youth leader. He knows what to do. Now he knows he will tell the village young man because he thinks or he believes he you knows what he will do. Are you not a human being? Why are you not a youth of this community? Eh, but he didn't come in now. Boom. I'm an Afro -chan. If you see what happened today, could you believe that Mbacho with his boy, so called village boys, confronted me? Me, Romanus, Romanuana Baloso Madna Baloso, that I should return the land I collected from Chinedu to Fiakwa. Return Guinea. Same question you ask. I ask them. No, wait, wait, wait. What will poor church rats use land for? I mean, land is synonymous with money. Money. So, what will do they have money? Can they buy cement? What, what would they need the land for? I don't understand. And I ask them. What will Chile do? Or uh, what can China do, do with that land? Can he afford money to build on the land? Mm -hmm. Nobody has answers to that question. Ooh, I have answer to that. I have answer to that. He will go and put a pit latrine in there. <laughs> so when he goes there, caca, or sometimes he will go and pluck all these leaves. Caca on top of it, use another leaf to clean bomb up and do <laughs> throw away. They also accuse us. They say that you and I are not treating the youths well. And I ask them, should I go and break Central Bank to settle them? Even if they serve me, they do boy boy for me. Should I do that? I, I'm, I'm totally confused. Are they saying that we should invite the youths to our houses? Then we'll be giving them breakfast, lunch, dinner, no, no, no. What, what do they want us to do? They are lazy children. Are we not good lazy in this community? We are, we are magnanimous people in this community. Yes, and after all, what does the youth want? Eh? They are downfall. It's our uprising. When they become poor, we become rich. 
Yeah, but, so, but that they give my whole own day Do they have lives? They are useless poor church rats. Useless and lazy youths. Honey, please, I want you to stop this attitude of yours towards the widows and the orphans in this village. People are complaining and I'm worried. Mm. Mm. I don't go ahead and complain and talk. I don't care. After all, it's a free world. Anybody can talk whatever you want to talk. Please, return that land to that boy. They said that is the only land his father left for him before he died. Will you please? Rose, hmm? do you know how many of my land they collected when I was struggling? Or do you know how many elders I borrowed money that refused to return them? return it even when i made money eh? hmm. I mean, but you don't have to use transfer aggression to those poor orphans and widows uh, we're supposed to help them not the other way around rose you're my wife my sweetheart as you can see i am tired I need some rest, so I will appreciate it if you can excuse me with these words, please. Okay, I've had you. Let's go to the bed, okay? Mm, baby. Mm, I think um, I'm okay here for now. I will soon meet you. Let's enjoy it. Mm, let's go to the bed. Romanus! Don't release that lamb to the boy. If you do, he will sell it and use the money to fight you. Thank you, Grandmaster. I appreciate it. All thanks to the great Izuma. The base of the war will make you and Ibeto richer. So continue to torture them. Make them suffer. Don't ever give the villagers money. If you do, you both will die. Grandmaster, we will continue to adhere to your instructions. We shall always obey you. Thanks to the great Izuma. I'm Tony. You were supposed to come with the sacrificial lamb. Did she accept the gift? Yes, Grandmaster. I'm here with a piece of clothes, as you instructed. Step forward and drop it here. Grandmaster. The great Izuma, father of all wealth and fortune. <laughs> Baby, wait up. Are you telling me that girls are fixed lashes and prostitutes? Oh, you don't know. Yeah? So you don't know before? Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that if I fix lashes, I am now a prostitute? Not just that, you just go your way. Ah, uh, and baby, come on. Don't, do Don't you know that by the time you make money, and you become a big man, and I become a big woman too, I will need to fix lashes now, so that we look like all those uh, city girls now. Those beautiful and sexy I, girls. I don't want. I like you the way you are. I like more Kukibu. Hmm? Yes. Kukibu Tokare. Leave it the way you well, are. Baby, I'm not complaining. That thing is fine now. It's fine. Obi, is that not you from Manos? He's the one. 
Why is he staring at us like that? I don't know. That how, that's how he looks at people. And then Chifanya news, not even Roman news. Let's leave here before he comes here now. Uh -huh. I don't want to oh, let's, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> good afternoon. It's a good day. You're welcome. Thank you. So, is my baby around? He went to check his trap. Oh. Has it been long he left? Not quite long. He just left some minutes ago before you came. Mm. Okay, you know what, eh? Tell him I came to see him, but I'll come back in the evening. Oh, no problem, I will. <laughs> if you mark us, <laughs> I'll wait, you know. Oh. I will tell him, okay? Hi, pretty. How are you doing? Good afternoon, Chief Romanos. Good afternoon. Why a pretty girl like you walking in a horse sun? Please, come and let me drop you. Um, no, thank you. My house is very close. Okay. What's your name? Ifoma. What a beautiful name for a beautiful queen. You see, Queens like you need men like me to take care of them. So? Well, thank you. But I'm not interested. Really? Okay, um. Please take this for your upkeeping. Thank you, sir, but I'm not interested in you. <laughs> what? I know. Hey, let's go. The way Chief Ibeto and Romanus are intimidating the youths and all fans of this village are quite overwhelming. And we cannot continue to keep, to keep quiet. No, not at all. Do you know? When they will know who I am mm. and why they call me the son of Odogu. Odogu is when they hurt any of the youth in this village. They will know me and know what I will do. Very sure. Very sure. Those men are something else. Very wicked. But if they try to hurt any person else in this community, who will show them? I will make them to face the whole community. Not even no, show them. No, we are going sir. to burn all their houses. Burn them no, down. Nonsense, people. Nonsense. No, the wicked we pay. No, no. Nonsense. Lord, I put my trust in you. Makami bori lanyamo. Chimo. Ine kuronye na mare kuo neno wa. Avoid that girl entirely. Stay away from her troubles. You know we don't have anybody to talk for us. Just have to be careful. Hmm. I've had you, brother. I'll be careful this time around. You can imagine how we were humiliated. Even when we said the truth. You and Alma were Hide with a rope for no reason. <laughs> Just for no reason. Anyway, all thanks to the village chairman, Mr. Baju. Um, I think I will go and thank him. You don't have to. I've done that already. Yes, I've, I've actually done that already. 
All you have to do is to stay away from all these people and their troubles. I'm warning you now. Well, that means you. Hey, Mama. Please, oh, please. No, I'm saying it. 